Doing a quick test recording. Uh, so tell me about your day. How was your day? My day was well, thanks. It was just tiring. Mm. How was your day? Our day was good. Uh, we was quite busy. Had a staff lunch today, which was nice. Yeah. Just chilling, you know. Free food is always always <laughs> cool. Uh, we played hockey with staff versus the matric, the matric boys today. Oh yeah. It was a lot of fun. I haven't played hockey in a while, but you know, I played well. It was good. Yes. We were robbed of a victory because the refs don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but uh, you know, it is what it is. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, well, we'll see how this thing goes. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what this what, what happens. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we're back. You know it is it's your resident black Spider Man, Garabo, Lindam Gili. We're back in this, people, the art dealers. This is tea time, guys. I know it's been a while since we had a, 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 the last tea time. I'm trying to think. I think the last one we had was probably with Lee, uh, speaking about youth and this generation and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so the tea times are always sort of our more serious interview type of vibes and obviously we started everyday faces which is more of like your kind of conventional conversations but i guess that's what this is also so tea time everyday faces almost the same thing really different branding uh but obviously to me is the host of everyday faces shout out to to me shout out to everyone to jobs cam jordy dan panache our dealers gang we're back in it and today we have a very special guest <laughs> Very special. You can hear the voice already. Yeah, that deep voice. Everyone, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let him do the introductions. My friend, my sir, please introduce yourself to the people. Yo, man, what's good? I'm Lanky. Well, basically, I'm Tukunda <laughs> <laughs> Gibson Jira, known as Lanky Boy. You Gibson also? Yeah, yeah fire. Shout out to <laughs> Gibson Junior. Hey, shout out to Gibson guys. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, guys, we have none other. Then some of you may know him as Lanky Boy. This is this is my boy here, Takunda, <laughs> brother of Kundai Jura. If you were listening in the last podcast, you know who Kundai is. Uh, so yeah, I just I really wanted to have you on just because I think um, first of all uh, he is a up and coming musician. Yeah. I say up and coming, he feels like he's already there. <laughs> <laughs> feels like he's already there. Um, I'm a huge fan of his music. I think you are super super talented, bro. I'm not trying to gas you up because it's a thing. I really do mean that. Yeah, and I really wanted you on because. Um, I think we've had people on before. Kandai is having a moment here. <laughs> no, it's fine. Cough, right? Do one pick up. Uh, Kandai studio audience. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Goodness gracious. Such a fish. <laughs> so, um, the tea times and stuff have always been the segments where uh, I kind of want people to be inspired. So, like with the, with the Hungani episode, obviously, Hungani is a professional actor, dancer. He studied acting and what's it like to kind of study something. And then work in that profession. Lee was obviously talking about the youth, uh, him having experience as a youth leader. Brett and Claire was talking about like having being a young couple, owning a business as a young family. So and now you're a young musician. So I think this will be a cool one for a lot of people. Obviously, everyone now uh, has some love for music. Maybe some people have a bit of talent, but they're afraid of taking that step. Yeah. Uh, and you've obviously taken that step. Um, like you have music out, people like you. You have a fan base. So thanks again for being on. It would be really cool for some of these guys to listen through. Uh, so I have some questions I sent you through. Uh, you know, just to kind of get you prepped, some general stuff, just to hear what the so people can get to know you a bit more. Your fans can get to know you a bit more. First question, easy one. Who is Takunda Jura? Who is Lanky Boy? <laughs> Takunda Jura uh, is a boy from the north side. He's 17, 17 18. Mm. Um, he's six two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's six two. Um yeah, he's just a boy that's constantly growing spiritually, mentally, physically, and he's just open to opinions, he's open to positive criticism, and yeah, he's just someone that appreciates constant support. Mm. And yeah, that's awesome. So, what's general background? Family? What's what's the family like? Siblings? You know what's <laughs> happening? Yeah, sibling background. I actually come from yo crazy siblings. <laughs> I have in total, I'll say seven siblings. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, three blood and two half. Mm. Um, the there's three boys, three girls, and yeah, plus. You know what, Kandai. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, <laughs> family background, yeah. Uh, parents are divorced. Live with my dad. Mm-hmm. 
and yeah man just family has a deep background but yeah man mm, that's cool yeah and yeah and I've uh, rather than have a history with your family I met uh, one of your older siblings Winnie back in university uh, we sort of like it was so weird we, we actually met on a trip to Hillbrow we were doing like some uh, I say mission trip but we were like handing out sandwiches and like blankets to like the less fortunate and all that kind of stuff yeah and that's when we like met for the first time and then we realized we were at the same university and then we realized we were at the same church <laughs> so yeah. that's where I met Winnie and then through that I met uh, Tracy and I met you and uh, your family and I've always had like a history yeah. I've actually known I've known Kunda and I met like back in high school actually so actually we've known each other for quite a long time I dated someone who she was friends with uh, so we yeah no we have history we, we have history me and the jurors we have history um, but yeah what's a uh, school life what's uh, where you at what's school like for you someone growing up uh, I go to Bryanston High in the north mm. so I'm in grade 11 schools yeah school's a joke I, <laughs> school's not right um, yeah but school it's not bad I just rather I put time equally into music and mm-hmm. school sure. but yeah sure. enjoy it that's good man so on to the music brother you mentioned it a lot um, you say you really appreciate like the, the all that kind of stuff but like just general stuff how did you come up with the name Lanky Boy where did that come from <laughs> Lanky Boy actually came from my uncle who used to call me Lank Man when I was still growing up <laughs> and if you translate Lank um, from Afrikaans to English it's tall mm. so yeah I just fell in love with the whole lanky boy because like it's simple for people to pronounce mm. and yeah it just relates because yeah, really cool. the tallest in my family yeah <laughs> <laughs> and how did you get into music like the general I guess the general question for most people uh music i she started in grade nine oh, at the end sure. of grade nine sure and i was i was actually quite upset because my teacher was shouting at me and i started writing lyrics mm. and that's when i she felt like whoa mm. I could take this on. Sure. And, yeah. That's really cool. Shout out to the it. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For inspiring you. And um, obviously, being a young musician, you I'm sure you have people who, in the music industry, you look up to, or even yeah. like maybe some of your peers who are some of those artists that inspire you and made you get into music or was music always like in your in your life? <clears throat> well, um, actually, I have three people that inspire me the most. Mm. First is Travis Scott. Uh, Shekwes mm. and July 56 yeah mm. he inspires me sure crazy big brother sure <laughs> he's, a, he's your cousin isn't he he's yeah. your cousin sure shout yeah. out to July he's really cool <laughs> um, so what about those three what is it about those three yeah? so Travis Scott inspires my my music background Shekwes um, inspires my fashion sense mm. and yeah July just inspires me to keep pushing sure. in what I do that's really cool that's really, yeah. really cool and obviously, like, when you're young, um, it's quite hard, especially when you're in high school. At least I find it's quite hard to, like, express yourself because, like, um, at least for me growing up, there was almost, like, everyone was pretty much to themselves and, like, everyone did their own thing. And But I've realized, I'll notice now, uh, I was a youth leader for, like, six years. I was in youth ministry for, like, six years. Yeah. And I saw, like, how kind of kids were, how, how like, youth was changing. Yeah. And now, like, expressing yourself has kind of become very important to a lot of people. Like, you have to, like, either through, like, I don't know, music or poetry or, like, your fashion or who you hang out with. It's become, like, this huge thing. And it's, like, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's, like, weird for me. Yeah. But, like, it's, um, I don't know, because just because it never wasn't anything that I had to, like, grow up with. But, like, just for you, like, how do you express yourself? Like, you just mentioned fashion sense and, like, all that kind of stuff. Like, how important is it? for someone your age younger or even older to express themselves well to myself expressing yourself is actually quite important because like you you need people to understand you as a person and not yeah basically Mm -hmm. expressing yourself is important so people understand the real you Mm -hmm. and not you trying to impress Mm, a certain crowd and yeah fashion and music have really helped me to um, to accept myself as a person yeah, and that's therefore good. That's really good. you tend to open up more and you don't care about what people say mm. about you as a person sure. I like that a lot and even like with me I think I realized like very late on like <laughs> probably like at the end of like my first year of university I yeah. realized like how important it is to 
kind of express yourself. Yeah. Um, especially like with fashion and stuff. I only I was always I always liked fashion and I always like dressed decently. Yeah. But then I only like properly started like caring about what I wear like at the end of university. Like and that's when I I totally agree with you. Like that's when I started becoming more comfortable with myself. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. So what you said is amazing. Um so as someone who is uh quite popular now like you have a bit of a you have a fan base you know people know are starting to know who you are people know who you are yeah. um as someone who's on a platform and who has a voice because yeah. like i said you like have a bit like you have you have a fan base yeah. like how, how how do you think you have a responsibility to inspire people yes i i feel like i actually do mm. cuz um i've noticed more of the younger generation like people my or well not my age people that are like 13 and stuff are actually listening to my music mm. and i feel like if i can inspire the younger group and not my age i feel like i'll constantly grow with yeah. younger people sure and yeah i have to constantly inspire and i feel like i do yeah do you think it puts pressure on you to make sure your image is good and all that kind of stuff yeah, yeah. thanks yo cuz like it's so crazy with our youth and our generation like once you do not one bad thing but like once you do something that isn't what they expected mm. it tends to jump off your boards yeah, and it sure. tends to switch up on you type of vibes yeah. so positive and good vibes for people see absolutely 100% and what would you say to some younger musicians that are coming up now like guys who because i mean i'm sure like like there's people either like listen or just in general like yeah. who like i said like who like music and maybe how uh, maybe play guitar or like sing or whatever write or rap or whatever but then they don't know how to go from like lo- loving the music and loving what they do to actually putting pen to paper or like actually making music um what would you say to like a younger musician now or someone who's wanting to take that step to like even just get started what would you say to them basically i'll just I would advise for them to stay honest with themselves and um consistent yeah because the more music you put out the more people understand you and yeah don't give up if I'm being honest mm. don't give up yeah Sheesh. yeah that's a really good one <laughs> and I think if it was like not that I'm like a musician or anything but like I think when you or I, I guess I can talk from any creative space because yeah. that's like the lane I'm in like graphic design and all that kind of stuff like i think something i would say is probably like just get started and like it's okay to have like i don't know bad stuff yeah like cuz you learn from that kind of stuff and Bro. i think you 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 start to like you record yourself like playing something for the first time and you realize okay this is okay this is bad yeah. and then you just start to like hone yourself and hone your skills like i can speak from just design like i was never like I don't want to sound complicated I was never as good as I am now in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Like it was always a process. Not that I'm amazing. Like I'm always like growing. Like it's also design and music is always changing. So you always have to kind of keep going. But like in the beginning like I was all like self-taught. I had to teach myself a whole bunch of things. I didn't know anything. Yeah. So like obviously I was just going off stuff that my friends taught me. Shout out to Lindy. She taught me how to graphic. She taught me how to do design and Brett. It's because of Brett that I started wanting to do design. Like he did like an elective at at um at a youth camp and that's what made me want to do it so like yeah. for me like it was always like my earliest designs were terrible like yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean and, yeah. and i'm sure like with you was like the early music was it bad was it good like what was the yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely you like my starting off music like mm. if i knew everything i knew now yeah. back then it would be crazy but yeah my starting of music was hey <laughs> offside yo. do we do we still have those in yeah, the actually, do, I still, do we keep them do we keep them yeah i still keep them just to look at the growth oh i see that's cool yeah back really, then to now mm, that's really cool yeah and what's your what's your process like as far as uh making music you say you're going to the studio tomorrow like yeah. what's your like do you do you listen to a beat first and then write over that or do you have like sheets of lyrics or ideas for songs and then try and mm, I don't know merge it with a beat that you hear or like a song that you hear what's your yeah. what does it change what's up what's what how do you do things basically um i first like ideas come out of nowhere like i could be doing the dishes and i start getting lyrics and stuff mm. so i just go and i write down lyrics and um i start by I have a few snippets on my phone of beats mm. but like 
personally they're not long enough so i just continue writing mm. until i actually get onto the beats when i go to the studio oh, and shit. Yeah, yeah and uh is it like a collab thing do you, do you work with people or is it all like just all, all you what's uh what's or just does it change does it vary depending on it's it's um i work with the gang the boys <laughs> sunset boulevard yeah sure cool july 56 uh sean black and scott eros mm-hmm. we all it's a creative collective where we all come together yeah and we contribute to each other july 56 and sean black being the producers and um lyric lyric men <laughs> i can yeah. say <laughs> yeah we all just help each other so basically it's a team of four mm. yeah Actually, that's really cool yeah that's really cool and do you guys like um like help each other out or have has there been like moments where you're working on a song that was meant to be for you but then maybe uh july was like i think this would be better for me or like you realize that'd be better for him or vice versa has that ever happened like that type of thing no mm. uh if it's or do you come in like this is for me this is for him this is for yeah him. if it's ever like that where we feel like if it's for july or me we turn into a feature where we both oh, jump on it. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. yeah. That's really cool, yeah. And yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like now, now being, I don't know, like what, uh, what inspires you in this in this 2019 age that we live in? Like, what, what or who inspires you? Like, not just music, but general life, your fashion sense, your, you as a person. Like, what, what, what inspires you? What or what or who inspires you? Um, I'd say my my family Mm. to be honest like yeah my siblings just constantly pushing me to grow my um christian my christianity and yeah Mm. that's that really it hits home it's deep like because for my older sister we need to tracy can die and myself motivating me um with um motivating me with Christian based motivation mm. and not anything edited or false like yeah, sure. true true mm. support mm. and Christian based stuff yeah. sure okay. last last few about this uh, before we just kind of just talk yeah um, where, where do you where do you see yourself in 10 years or where do you wish to be in 10 years um, in 10 years mm. I I wish to have my um my business running mm. my fashion business my clothing brand mm. running um possibly in a different country mm. yeah pursuing music and obviously education mm. to keep the parents happy <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so fashion my clothing brand music and yeah education in mm. 10 years and what would you say to your younger self like your let's say kind of grade 8 grade 7 <laughs> uh, grade 7 lanky <laughs> what would you say what would you say to him yo I'll tell him to stop playing around yo because <laughs> yo <laughs> primary I played around too much yo I played around too much from getting like 45 demerits in grade 4 goodness gracious <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so I'll just tell myself to mm. stop playing around mm. but I guess primary was the time to play around because I got serious mm. from Grade eight onwards. Mm. Yeah. So playing around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good yeah. thing to hear. I think a lot of people in like matric need to hear that, bro. Honestly. Yeah. Um, but bro, thanks for, for for that. I think it's really cool that someone who's your age is like, um, at least just from my observations and stuff. Someone who is isn't this is not like just a hobby. Like yeah. you know I mean, like you genuinely take it seriously and and I'm not even like I'm not even like trying to say this to guess you are, but like the music is really good. Thank you. <laughs> like really, Thank really you. good. Can I will tell you how many times I talk about space space trip? That's I love that track. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately, and um, to everyone listening, the links will be in bios and everything like that. So like, please go find this man because he's doing really well, and making really good music. Shout out to July and all the team that you're with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro. Like, just any anything. Anything final would you like to say, lanky boy? Just with regards to <laughs> oh, yes. the fans and everything, yeah. Um, what's ha- what's happening? Anything cool that's coming up, yeah? Um, um, in August, I'm actually dropping my second EP. Mm. Um, yeah, it's dropping on all digital platforms except SoundCloud. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so you guys could catch it on 
Apple Music and Spotify mainly. Mm. And also dropping my merchandise soon. Mm. And yeah. Fire, bro. Yeah. Fire, fire, bro. So just yeah. uh, just some random questions I thought I'd throw in, you know. Yeah. I just, you know, Lanky Boy's a very handsome man. <laughs> you know, tall. So the section is just called Relationship Goals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just some random questions. I, I've been, yeah, bro, I've just been like, uh, like reading a lot about relationships and like watching a whole bunch of videos my cousin was um actually in this video this this team based in pretoria called uh define they make like really cool videos where they get like people who are in relationships and like really like different types of relationships and like ask them how they got together and all that and like yeah. people who have who've been single like their whole life so like that kind of stuff has been like on my mind lately um for reasons <laughs> most people know yeah. <laughs> but uh um but just randomly like just random question do you believe in the one Yo, personally, I do, but not at this age. Oh, okay. This age, because you're. Mm. This age, there's just so many girls that like playing around, man. Mm. And it's like, us guys, or well, most guys that I know, put so much effort and time into mm. an individual, but she's playing around. <laughs> she's playing around, yeah. and that ends up breaking a neck. I mean, a person. <laughs> a person. And it's just like, yo. Mm. And what's your what's your view on dating in high school? Just that's, in general. That's crazy because yes. a few days ago I was telling myself, mm. don't date in high school. <laughs> don't because you well in high school, yeah, you can like people here and there, but I just feel like in high school it's quite tricky because mm. after we trick people go their separate ways. Yeah. And keeping in contact with the girl that you were dating could quite difficult mm. so yeah in high school hey, uh, it's, a, it's a tough one man yeah. like I think one. there's like pros and cons obviously like I think for me I'd say like if you like someone or you guys like each other I mean listen life is short like just whatever do it yeah. if it works out it works out if it doesn't it doesn't and like I can't say that I think it's like stupid or anything because like I have some close friends who started dating in high school and are now married yeah. and all that kind of stuff so like clearly like there's some uh, but I mean that's also that's also a very like limited True. type of thing like it, it doesn't happen for everyone you know what I mean and I think you, you, you're talking sense now and obviously like when I was younger like the vibes would like social media was not really a thing yeah. like when I was younger like I think it came out like uh, me and Tumi were talking about this like in our last like everyday faces like social media for us or at least for me like came out I think Instagram came out like when I was grade 10 or grade 11 or something yeah. so like even throughout like the rest like when I got to high school and stuff it really wasn't that big of a deal um, so like but now where people are constantly seeing like these couple goals and yeah. all that kind of stuff and now you even before you get into a relationship you already have this idea of what you want True. a relationship to be like yeah. and then it you basically set yourself back because now you put this guy who you're not even dating on yeah. this pedestal yeah. or, or this girl or vice versa and then when they disappoint you because they not buying you flowers or <laughs> she's not whatever like whatever whatever now you're fighting and it's like what what's you, yeah, it like, doesn't, make, it doesn't sense. make sense so like she, so high school dating is cool it's, it's whatever yeah. it is what it is <laughs> and uh just last thing on, on relationship goals um what do you think are the keys to a great relationship yo personally i would say um the correct amounts of efforts into one another um the correct amounts of faith in God mm. and just understanding each other and not being individuals that constantly judge or who constantly have fear of what the other individual is doing mm. so yeah just constant growth within each other what to me I will see you and we grow together mm, that's and amazing oh my gosh that's a really good answer come back <laughs> you teaching this boy well eh yes <laughs> 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 Uh, super wise bro for someone your age um, and yeah just last few kind of easy easy peasy questions like what's what's your guilty pleasure TV show like what's that one TV show that's like it's your friend to tell people that you watch <laughs> I, I haven't been watching TV <laughs> I don't have time to watch TV <laughs> yeah but basically I'd say um, Grownish Grownish okay yeah. that's, that's a good one that's Grownish. a good one yeah. Grownish. What's, uh, what song do you have on repeat right now right now mm. Um, Never Lost by Shaq Wiz. Oh, she has a good one. Good one. And then, last one for the people. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's one word you'd use to describe yourself? 
um, beautiful. Beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Fire. fire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kandai is trying to cough. But she's holding it in. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was a great one. Uh, I think it's man. I can't talk any. Uh, I can I can talk highly of you for a very long time, Thank my you. friend. You're, you're a great one. Uh, and this is a, a young man with a really good head on his shoulders, and I think you're really inspiring for a lot of people. So, and uh, I really, I really back you, bro. Like I think you have such a bright future, just with not even just music, but just in general. Thank you. And. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being on. I think this is going to be a cool episode for people to listen to and get to know you better, your fan base to get to know you better, see the man behind the music and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this is a lanky boy. Thank my you. guy. <laughs> my guy. Thank you. For uh, yeah, guys, a double upload week. Obviously, we had the Everyday Faces with Alan Astro. We took a bit of a break. Uh, everyone's been quite busy, but we trying to upload again, trying to get back everything. Exhibition room will be back soon. Uh, maybe a full art dealers again will be back soon. But yeah, this is tea time. Uh, shout out to Boss Ice Tea. You know, we're trying to get that sponsorship. It's coming through. Uh, shout out to Red Bull. Also trying to get that sponsorship. Shout out to Daniel Wellington. You know, guys, we were making moves today. I'm here to tell you off air. Don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Shout out to shout out to you, Lanky. Thank you. Uh, if all the socials and stuff. Where can they find you? What can where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at LankyBoy underscore and SoundCloud LankyBoyRarchy. And yeah, man, iTunes and Spotify. You'll find me soon. Awesome. awesome, guys. Remember the second EP yeah. coming through August. Yes. Merch line also coming through. So stick to his uh, social medias to find out all that information. We'll also be there punting and, uh, you know, sharing the information with you guys. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that was Lanky Boy. That was Art Dealers. We're back, guys. Welcome <laughs> back to Tea Time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Have a great weekend. That she's the one, but I cut my bands and I'm alright. Yeah. yeah, we come alive in the night. VVS choker shining very bright. Yeah. She wanna know where I go late at night with the crew. We pay the fool, then we zoom. Yeah, I shoot for the moon, only in the booth. Niggas like to talk about thank you. Yeah, they do, yeah, they talk a lot Yeah, but they know That I run the block Yeah, I shoot for the moon Only in the booth Niggas like to talk about that Yeah, they do, yeah, they talk a lot Yeah, but they know That I run the block Yeah, I don't sight, I don't mind I bought the whip and I drive Northern light shining bright Truth or death Do you really care? Care for me, you just like to stay, yo. Yeah, I shoot for the moon, only in the booth. Niggas like to talk about Nike, yeah, they do, yeah, they talk a lot, yeah. But they know that I run the block, yeah. I shoot for the moon, only in the booth. Niggas like to talk about Nike, yeah, they do, yeah, they talk a lot, yeah. But they know. That I run the block, yeah